we need to be worried, first of all, about what the AI that's currently working, about the ethical problems it leads to. And they are very scary. And the one that scares people most is deception. Mm. Now, this is what I'm talking about here uh, are deep fakes. Yes. And you, as a former politician, will know how risky that is. And here we are. The potential of that is so scary that the five eyes, that is mm. Australia, New Zealand, Canada, UK, and USA, their top security people have been discussing this. And it's very interesting that the thing that worries them most is deep fake impersonation. And uh, quoting one of them, people will, billions of people will have no idea what the truth is. Now that is serious stuff. Yes. And that concerns me because that's the world that my grandchildren are going to grow up in and yours too. And it, it is really scary. And that is not the sci-fi stuff of creating a super intelligence, whether that ever happens or not. There's no sign of it yet. That's the stuff that we are already deploying. And remember that God, in his wisdom, has coupled intelligence with consciousness. Now, people talk about creating a conscious machine, but I, I say, what is consciousness? Nobody has the least idea. And who's so, consciousness? Yes, they. I mean, they're talking hot air, quite frankly. We don't know what it is, which is an amazing thing. We all know that we're conscious, but what is consciousness? Well, if you don't know what it is, you're certainly not going to be able to build it. <laughs> uh, there are lots of reasons for thinking that that is likely to be logically impossible, but that's, again, another development. What has really, I think, alarmed me in the, in the last four years is, first of all, the intrusion of surveillance technology and its sophistication. It is very sophisticated now. And the danger of the argument, you want peace and safety, will you give up your freedom? which is being used frequently all over the place. And all the ethical problems created by narrow AI uh, in that area of surveillance, but also in the quality of the impersonation stuff. I've had a deep fake made of me and they showed it to me. It was so convincing, it was scary. That is terrifying. And it just costs a few dollars, you know, to, to, to make.